Okay, let's go ahead and solve for the V out over V in of this non-operational amplifier. And what we should know that in an ideal op amp, essentially the current that goes into here is very close to zero. And the current that's coming out of here is also very close to zero. So that means that my V in here is also my V in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use KCL or Kirchhoff current law to solve for V out over V in. I'm gonna say that the current that flows in here has to equal the current that flows out here. Let me call this I1 and let me call this I2. Okay, so using KCL, what can we say? We could say that I1 has to equal I2. As a result of that, I get zero minus Vn, so zero minus Vn over R1. Again, this is a current equation, has to equal the current I2 is Vn minus V out over R2. Okay, when we do some manipulations and moving things around, we get that Vn times R1 plus R2 over R1 times R2 has to equate to V out over R2. We can notice that since R2 is in the denominator here and the denominator here, we can cancel these out. And so we get our final equation as V out is equals to one plus R2 over R1 parentheses times Vn. And this is your non-inverting operational amplifier equation for V out. And what is it saying essentially? It's saying that if you give me a Vn of one volt, an R2 of 10K ohms, and an R1 of 10K ohms, 10K over 10K is one, one plus one is two times one. My V out will be amplified to be two volts. Again, it's not inverting because I don't get a negative sign in front of it, but it amplifies the signal from one volt to two volt. Again, in order to get V out over V in, you just do V out over V in is simply equals to one plus R2 over R1. Thank you.